from uh, Stonehurst Studios. Just a quick video on the best way, well, correct way, I guess, to save a logic project in order to share it with somebody via the internet. You know, if you're going to send, I live in Australia, if I want to send it to the UK or something like that, and make sure that everything is in the folder and, and the, the person at the other end can open it up. So, a couple of quick things first this this file as you can see it's called want to go my way 1.3 um i would actually put, tidy this up a little bit because we've got some mutant thing muted things and that before i sent it so i've clean it clean it up and make it a lot lot neater file but just for the example sake i'll show you this so first off what i'm going to do is I, i'd actually save a version so i want to go my way and i'm just going to call this share no plug and that will be apparent in a minute. So we're going to save a version of this 1.3, no, no plug. So in here, we've got different audio. We've got MIDI tracks. We've got samples, etc. Now, here, for example, we've got a, a guitar part. It's got some effects on it. Oh, just basic uh, uh, EQ and compression. Now, if I was sending this to somebody else to mix, I probably would just send them the raw audio file. However, if you want the other person to get the idea of what this, um, the, you know, what impression you're trying to get, obviously you maybe want to send them a version with the uh, compression and EQ on. So you can say, you can bounce this in place. So I just right clicked on the region I want to uh, bounce in place. I could then call this um, guitar one with uh, FX, you know, so if you've got reverb, compression, whatever on there. Now, I need to make sure that this box is unchecked. So that where it says bypass effect plugins, I want to make sure that's not checked. So the, the processing will, will take place and we'll hear then the guitar will be the same version as what I was trying to create. However, obviously, if somebody else is mixing it for you, they probably want you to bypass the effects plugin and send it, you know, the kind of the raw dry file. Now, I'm not going to bounce that, but if all I do is to go OK, and that would create a copy of that um, with the effects or without the effects, whichever way you're going to go around it. OK, so you then bounce your audio, tidy up your track so it's nice and neat for the other person to uh, go through. So I'd obviously delete all, you know, these blank tracks if they're not necessary. Um, and tidy up the whole 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 shop. Um, okay, next thing I need to do is if I open my mixer, I just dis disable any plugins that are not Logic. So, for example, here's a Waves plugin, CLA Vocals. So, I was going to turn that off. Uh, UAD um, plugins, Universal Audio. Um, I turn all these off because the other user may not have the same plugins that I've got. I have quite a lot of different plugins from different manufacturers, Sound Toys, Universal Audio, Native Instruments, etc. So it's especially important if you're using sounds that some the other user wouldn't have or possibly hasn't got to disable those plugins or, and make sure you've bounced any audio. So for example, if I had a synth part in here um, that let's say um, I'd used, um, let's say Native Instruments, unused contact, Here's contact um, if it's going to load. And, you know, I might have, say, used uh, the Woodwind solo uh, ensemble or, or, or the Woodwind ensemble or any, any of the other sort of sounds within Native. And the other person may not have it. So it's really important to, uh, if I, let's say this was the track on the Native Instruments thing, make sure I bounce that so that they can hear what those that sound is supposed to sound like. Okay. Um, so I'll obviously disable contact because the other user may not have that. So make sure any uh, plugins are disabled. Um, unless you know, for example, the other person has got all the UAD plugins, then it doesn't really matter. Um, okay. So now we're going to say, now we've tidied it up, cleaned it up. Let's go to save as. What we're going to do is go to, I'm going to go to my desktop and save a version of this, um, so we're going to, I'll call this, uh, I don't know, 1.4 uh, share John. That'll do. And now the, this is where 
it's pretty important. We want to make sure that the project is a folder, not a package, so a folder, and then the folder will include all these assets, the audio files, the EXS, all these, make sure all these boxes are ticked, essentially. If this isn't checked, none of this audio, like the guitar parts or anything you've recorded in, will end up in the file. So it's really important, you know, your vocals will be missing, your guitar parts will be missing, so make sure all these boxes are ticked as a folder, and then we're gonna save it, as a new folder onto, let's go new folder, wanna go my way, John, or actually here just put John in, John in brackets, and oh, I've already, this is the second run of this, so I'll just call it John one. Um, okay, I'd already messed up this video once, so <laughs> I'll create this folder. Okay, so here we go, save that. Uh, it's now going to save this entire folder, and that's done. So we'll close Logic, and then on my desktop, here is "Want to Go My Way." This is the original one. As I said, I messed up the original video. So what we're then going to do is I need to compress it. So I go to compress, and it will start compressing it. Um, again, this is something I prepared earlier, so I'm just going to get rid of that. That's not completely finished the job, but I do have. It takes about a minute to compress it. So I've, I've already done it. And then what you'll do is you'll upload this into Dropbox or wherever you're going to put it, Google Drive, that kind of thing. And it's a small, it's a compressed version of the file, so it's quicker to upload. And then the when you receive it or the other person receives it, they'll drag it onto their desktop and just double click it. And you'll get this, this thing come up and it's expanding Want to Go My Way Zip and the zip will open and there you go there's the folder it's numbered it number two because obviously i've got number one over here because i'm sending i've just essentially sent it to myself so if i now open up the folder there is the folder there's want to go my way sh shared with john there's all the audio guitar there's no freeze files in there um any samples they're all in there as well and there's the actual uh logic file so I'll, then i'll just double click on the logic file and everything should work. And there it is, the uh, exactly the same file that I saved in the first place. So, hope that helps. Um, so, just quick recap, uh, shave, share, sorry, save uh, your your version for, for sharing, um, and then disable, bounce any audio, then disable plugins that the other user may not have, and same with sounds, you know, if you're using native instrument sounds or east west sound library, whatever. Disable and then disable the plugins that are non-logic. Save as folder, include all the assets. So just remember just as a quick reminder, that's what you need to save it as a folder. And there, and I created a new folder on the desktop to share. And once you've done that, compress the folder, send it, job done. Hope that's helped. Uh, catch you later.